So I am not excited about this video, but I'm doing it for you. See, when it comes to thinking about academics and thinking about going back to school, ugh, I just get the cringe. I just, ugh, that's something I'm excited about. But I will tell you, when I was in school, I did actually enjoy the camaraderie. I enjoyed the experience and I enjoyed learning. And I guess I still learn every day, um, studying new things, learning about new stuff. So maybe I'm still kind of in school. I don't really know. But why is this video important to you? Well, today we're going to showcase to you our academic planner. For a number of years, we've done professional planners that kind of fit the mold of the digital planning market. For someone that's personal or professional, someone that runs a business, or a leader or executive that has a whole team that they're trying to organize around. But when it comes to academic planning, it's slightly a different nut. And today we're going to crack that nut and show you what our system is all about. First and foremost, I want you guys to know a little something about academic planning. Academic planning can be done across plenty of different applications and a handful of different devices. And the first thing you should know is use what you have. I don't encourage anyone to go out and buy a new device or look for a new application that they're not comfortable with, you want to be able to do planning with the device and applications that you're currently using for note taking. I want to tell you that our planner works across a plethora of different applications and a handful of different platforms. And we're going to dive into those first to kind of show you what it's all about. So utilizing OneNote, OneNote is an application that works across Windows, Apple, and Android devices. As a matter of fact, if you have a Windows desktop or laptop computer and you have an iPad or for a tablet and an Android for a phone, which I don't know why you would do that, but if you do do that, OneNote will synchronize your notes across all those various applications and it'll do it very seamlessly. And now I'll show you what the planner looks like on OneNote. We'll dive into other different applications and platforms in a few minutes, but we'll showcase the OneNote version first. Do note the layout of the planner looks the same across all devices and platforms. So kind of take a peek at that and see what you like. So here we are with an iPad and we're going to go ahead and show you the academic planner in OneNote. We have a handful of different templates. We have a habit tracker, a budget tracker, a goals page, a meetings page, a project page, assignments, class notes, and even a semester schedule. And these can be customized to add in all your different course activities, locations, credits, and your weekly schedule can all be seen here. But what's really important to note is it goes beyond just the actual scheduling of your classes. It starts to ask you questions about what is it that you're focusing on this semester? What is your vision? Like, how do you want to balance out your academic profession? You know, what is it when you do for hobbies, activities you're being involved in? And that helps you build up this ideal week so that you have some balance in your weekly scheduling. Because when you're going to school and you're learning, that's part of the program too. But having a life and developing those life experiences for the first time on your own is also very important. It's also so important if you want to be successful to have a routine. Know what you're going to do each morning mentally and physically and how you're going to round out your night to prepare for the next day and what is it that you want to do for yourself. I encourage everyone when we're doing this page to take a moment and say, what is my role in my own education? What is my role this year in my academic plan? So this template allows you to kind of do all that. But as you dive into the daily months, you have an expanded area for notes. You have an expanded area that's segmented by fall schedule, spring schedule, and summer schedule. And when you open up each one of these, you'll find first in the fall schedule, you have your class note pages. This way you can make notes and you can easily copy and add to these pages. So this will be an endless list. And you can retitle those by simply typing on them and typing the name of the class that you choose to put in there. You have an area for your assignments. And again, you can copy these as well. And then you have your individual months. Each month starts out with a month at a view. There's your habit tracker for the month, a budget tracker for your month. Parents are absolutely going to love this section. And then you also have your weekly planning tool. So to help you understand what it is that you're trying to get out of each and every week. And then you have your daily tools. Now, our weekly planner also has a week at a view in here. So you can see that as well as the daily view is inside the OneNote version. 
When it comes to the PDF version, which we'll showcase here in a second, you have the ability to choose from either a weekly version or getting our daily planner and then adding the tile version to your planning system. But that is a kind of a quick look at the OneNote planner. Now you can do with this planner, everything you can do across all of our other planners, you can use all the tools to take notes, handwrite, copy and paste things from one page to the next. And if you wanna learn how to use OneNote in detail, go ahead, check out this link right here. I have a full deep dive. And maybe you're not considering yet at this point to get into planning, but you're gonna use OneNote in your classroom. You're gonna to wanna to check out this video because we're gonna go into a lot of details that brings out all the features and benefits of using OneNote. So let's talk about GoodNotes. What is GoodNotes? Well, GoodNotes is a PDF annotation app. Now there's a handful of other PDF annotation apps. You may have heard of NoteShelf, Nobility, and the list goes on and on. If you're an Android user, you might've heard of Samsung Notes. You may have even heard of a product called Nebo. These are all other annotation apps we have a handful of videos that covers each and every one of these if you want to deep dive into them. But our planner is designed to work across all of them and you can choose our PDF planner and import it into each one. And as you're hearing all these questions, you probably have tons more. I promise you before the end of the video, I'm gonna do kind of a frequently asked questions where I'll cover a handful of questions and hopefully I will catch your question in that part of the video. By any means, if I don't, do me a favor, hit the comments and ask a question, and myself or someone on the team will gladly follow up with you. But let's go ahead and check out GoodNotes and what that looks like. Now, this is the GoodNotes Academic Planner. It comes with this key page that's built into the planner. This acts as kind of like an area for navigation. You can easily tap on any one of these particular dates, and it'll take you to the respectful month, and you can click on, for example, the date, and it'll take you to the week out of view. And if I click key button, it'll take me back to this page. Just like before where I showed you all those different templates, like the habit tracker, the budget and expense tracker, those are all here. So if I click on habit tracker for August, it'll take me here. I can jump back to the key page. I can go ahead and click on the budget one. It'll take me here as well. We can go ahead back to the key page and jump on a monthly planning page. And again, it'll take me there. All of these dates, again, take me to the weekly plan. Now, the weekly plan, again, has the ability for me to put an area in where I want to talk about, hey, what is my plans for this week? What does it look like? What's a part of my schedule? What's important? What areas of focus? What action steps do I need to complete? And an area for notes. I can go into the individual key tab. I can go into my individual schedules here for each individual semester and see those. I also have the place for my vision board, my bucket list as well as my annual keys. Now, the annual keys is something that we cover in our training series. If you haven't watched our series one training video, in the description is a link to all of our free training, and you can learn how to utilize our planning system to get the most out of your daily activities. Our goal with daily planning is for you to make the most out of your success by establishing what's important to you. Franklin Covey said in Seven Habits of Successful People, one of those things being do first things first. So each day as you get up, prioritize what's most important to you, what's gonna help you maximize your investment of your time today and be able to indicate those. And that is part of our daily key three. It's also built around our annual keys so you can understand and develop the traits that are most important to you. Now, there are so many cool features when it comes to using the applications, and one of them that I have to show you is how I take notes. Let's just say I go into my key page here and I pull up my class notes. Now, I can use this particular pen and I can write in my notes, and I will likely do that. However, sometimes I'm actually trying to digest the information. Maybe there's an illustration. The teacher is drawing something on the board, and I just can't keep up with the handwriting function. What's really cool about OneNote as well as GoodNotes is you can record audio. But with GoodNotes, there's an AI feature that's absolutely amazing. If I click on the microphone here, it's gonna start recording. Now, it has the ability to do live transcribing. And if you can see down here, that what I am saying is actually being recorded and then being transcribed for me in real time. Where this is so important is I can take notes side by side so I can have a note here and I can write that note out. I can go ahead and highlight something and it's going to track that information as I go across 
this page here. And any time I can go ahead and hit stop and bring up the recording section and I can see those notes. I can choose to hit the summarize button. So if there was a lengthy discussion, maybe between you and teacher, if you were in a lecture, or maybe it was a discussion between you and a handful of your classmates and you're discussing a topic, this will go ahead and it'll actually transcribe that notation for it. I can go ahead and then share that with someone. So if someone's next to you and you want to share the note, you can. You can also copy it or you can actually copy that text and pull it into another note and make additional notes. Now you can do this with one note as well, but it doesn't offer the live transcribe feature. And a power tip for you is take this transcription and drop it into your AI chatbot of choice and start to ask questions. You can actually have a conversation with the chat about the various things you're taking notes on and that's going to help enrich your experience. So in addition to using this with an iPad on a PDF annotation apps as well as OneNote, you can use it across other devices. If you want to use it with an ink device like the Remarkable, you can clearly do that. It'll import as a PDF and it'll have all the same navigation functions that we had in our PDF annotation app GoodNotes. This will also work on other devices like Samsung Tab, Microsoft Surface Pro, based on the application choice you choose to use with those devices. The thing I want you to understand, and I said it earlier, is use the device that you have and find an application that best suits you for note taking. When it comes to importing the planner into these devices, we have information on each and every application on how you can go ahead and import the file. It's usually in most cases a matter of two or three different steps to import the process. Now when it comes to being able to do your planning, take your notes, there's a handful of other things that are important to process. Your environment. Often I find that people that are successful at note taking and journaling and planning out their day are usually in a state where they're feeling comfortable, they're feeling relaxed, they're able to focus. For me, it goes beyond just my environment. I want to be able to sit or stand at a desk. I want to find a chair that fits the mode that I'm in. Maybe I want to relax. Maybe I want to recline back. Maybe I even got to take a nap for a few minutes just to rest myself. It doesn't matter what the situation is. I find with the FlexEye Spot setup, desk and chair, that I'm able to work comfortably. I can go from a sitting position to a standing position in a touch of a button. If I want to recline back in my chair, I can do so. If I need to tuck everything away in a convenient space, I can easily fold over the chair and slide it underneath my desk to make the most out of the space that I have in the area that I have my desk situated. These are all powerful tools. And if you want to learn more about this particular setup, go ahead, check out the link in the description. There probably is even a promotional opportunity for you to save a little bit and learn more about this chair desk combination. And you might find just one of them suitable for you, if not both. But as I expand on this whole element of digital planning, I want you guys to know that as you find the space in the environment that you're in convenient and you start to take better notes and you start to organize and optimize your life around what's important to you, you're going to find that these tools will be very helpful. If you're a teacher or an admin that's watching this, you might say, hey, I get the whole student planning aspect of it, but as an administrator or an educator, I want to have a little bit more robust system that includes not only my activities in the classroom, but all the activities outside of the classroom. Well, I encourage you to take a look at our personal, professional, or business planner, and then think about to yourself, hey, what tools from the academic planner do I need? We have a thing called an education tile that allows you to import the particular pages that we showed you that are part of the academic planner. You can actually import those right into our Key Success professional planner lineup and get the benefit of both worlds. Now, when it comes to academic planning, our planners run from August to July, and our daily planners run calendar year. We have a great opportunity where you can bundle this year and next year together and save consistently on the planning system and get the benefit of having the same timeline as you would with an academic planner, bringing the fact that you can use these tiles and you have a robust system that's going to work for you. And you can do that not only on OneNote, but as well on all the different PDF applications that you have available to you. So commonly asked questions. First and foremost, 
Can I customize any portion of the planning system? Matter of fact, if you want to look at all of our tiles that we have, or if you want to look at any digital stickers, you can utilize that to kind of make your own planning system. They lay over top the existing system and you can add stickers, you make it fun, you can add different elements. You can go ahead and check out the link for all the tiles that we have. Tiles are really just digital stickers, but we call them professional elements that kind of help you make your own. We talked a little bit about backing up. You can do that across your different cloud storage capabilities. As far as installing the planning system, based on the application that you have available, if you go into our website and go under support, you'll find a whole segment of installation guides based on the different applications that are out there. And that expands even to training support. You want to learn how to use the application that we have the planner built in. If you want no good notes, note shelf, nobility, Samsung notes on our YouTube channel, you can find tons of training. We even have playlists that are designed around each and every application. So if you're not really familiar with one application, but want to learn about all the different features, go ahead, check out those playlists because there's some pretty amazing things that you can do. And when it comes to sharing, most every single application has some type of sharing tool. You can even collaborate with OneNote and GoodNotes. You can share a link of your planner to another individual and it can collaborate with you. This is really helpful if you want to create notebooks for classrooms. I have a lot of students that will actually create a notebook like in OneNote for a particular class. They'll share that with a number of their fellow classmates and they'll all contribute to the notes and they'll share the information that they're learning. And that really helps out, especially in different projects or exam studying that they're doing. So those are some of the frequently asked questions that come up. But here's what I want you to know before we close today. Why is academic planning important? Well, why is planning important in general? So many of you will probably ask yourself, well, why don't I just use Google Calendar to do this, to put in my schedule? Well, here's the thing. With calendaring, all you're doing is marking off time in your schedule to give you alerts, notifications on where you need to be. With planning, you're taking the moment to ask yourself, what is the return from this time commitment? What questions do I have? What do I want to learn from it? How do I want to grow myself? If you have a meeting with somebody and you show up just because the notification told you to be there, how respectful are you of your own time for that? But if you show up and you have a list of questions, a list of answers that you're willing to provide, think of the stimulating conversation, the enrichment that's going to take place. Now take that same relationship development skill and add it to your relationship to your academic planning, your career, the profession that you're going to be, and start to ask yourself, what is it that I want to get from this class? How is it going to enrich my life? It's going to grow my experience so that when I reach the workforce, I can help labor fruit for others, making me more valuable, giving you a better role, a heightened career, a faster climb up the ladder, and giving you more respect amongst your colleagues when you enter the workforce. Planning can do all that. It also is a place where you can go ahead and search across your notes. Taking handwritten notes on a planner and then being able to search back and find those notes is something you can't do inside a calendar app. So if you haven't already, I encourage you to check out the Keys to Success Planner. If you've learned just one thing from this video, go ahead and like it. Subscribe to our channel if you're into this tech review slash productivity enhancement learning. That's what I like to call it. Um, and by all means, if you've got questions, hit the comments. I'm happy to help you out. And Lord willing, I hope to see you guys in another video. I wish each and every one of you the best as you journey through life. You are in an exciting time and make the most of it. It's going to shape who you are and it's going to make you someone better. Godspeed.